Once again, they made slow progress as a result of Darnak's compulsiveness. The dwarf had taken it upon himself to draw each individual tile on his map. If one of these squares hides a trap, we'll be wanting to know which one. This time, Jig had no complaints. The sluggish pace meant that he could test each tile before putting his full weight on it. He would press his back against the wall for balance and extend his toes to tap the next tile up the hall. If that felt safe, he ran to the opposite wall and did the same on that side. As the corridor was three tiles wide, this procedure eliminated all but one. The middle tile he simply tested with the ball of his foot. If something happened, he would be off balance, but without a convenient wall to lean against, he had no choice in the matter. Naturally, it was the middle tile that turned out to be trapped. The corner sank a half inch. <laughs> Jig leaped back, flailing his arms for balance. Which tile? Darnak hurried to Jig's side, counting as he went. Ten, eleven, twelve, the thirteenth tile. Center one, right? Uh, uh, uh -huh. That had been too close. Jig glanced to either side, waiting for the trap to spring. Darnak's quill scratched furiously as he penned a warning about the tile. Barrius stepped closer, shoving Jig to one side. With his sword, Barrius prodded the corner Jig had stepped on. But nothing else happened. He tried again, harder this time. Perhaps it's stuck. What could be more useless than a trap door that refuses to open when triggered by its prey? Behind us! Smudge flashed red hot. Darnak whirled, blinding Jig as the lantern's beam passed over his eyes. The rope tugged Jig forward, and he crashed into the wall and stayed there, out of the way. Whatever was coming, Barrius had decided to keep both hands free to deal with it. Jig blinked and squinted. Brianna had stayed behind, next to him. He could make out the shapes of Darnak and the humans moving back up the tunnel. Beyond, more humanoid figures moved in silence. Jig saw the glint of weapons from the newcomers. What are they? My vision's bad enough without the party block at my view. <laughs> Brianna had drawn her stolen knife, and her chest moved rapidly as her breathing quickened. <laughs> She and Jig both jumped at the first clang of steel against steel. But what is it they were fighting? Where did they come from? Probably had something to do with the trapped panel, but what? As if in response, the wall Jig had been leaning against vanished. One moment it was there. And the next, Jig was falling back into a small alcove. He looked up. A pale, dead face looked down at him. Oh, nothing but an old corpse. The corpse raised a spiked mace to strike. <coughs> Jig rolled aside as the mace crashed into the floor beside him. Smudge sprang free and hid behind the creature out of sight. Before the thing could attack again, Jig scrambled out of the alcove. He collided with Rihanna. The panel had disappeared from the opposite wall as well. Unlike the first creature, however, the inhabitant of this alcove was truly dead. The skin had decayed and flaked away, and one skeletal arm lay on the floor. There's another behind me! Whatever it was, it had begun life as a human, to judge from the rounded ears. Like the rest of its flesh, those ears were white and shrunken. Rusted chainmail hung loosely from its shoulders, reinforced with metal plates at the knees and elbows, and the clouded eyes moved to track Jig's movements. The mace came up again. Rihanna fled farther up the corridor. Jig started to follow, ah! only to slip on the smooth marble. He rolled out of the way of another attack. Unfortunately, he rolled into the thing's legs. It kicked Jig in the stomach knocking him to the other side of the hall. Doubled over, Jig could still see from the corner of his eye as the creature closed in. But it stopped a few paces away. The skull head turned to the right, then the left. Jig swore he saw the skin of the forehead wrinkle, as if in confusion. As the creature turned around, he saw why. Beneath its armor, the creature wore tattered rags that had no doubt been magnificent finery. Somehow those scraps had begun to burn. Orange tendrils of flame danced beneath the armor, slowly climbing up the creature's body while the threads blackened and shriveled. As the fire grew, the creature began to slap the flames, but to no effect. Its own skin began to burn as it tried without success to extinguish itself. Whether it was truly dead, or if some spark of life remained to guide it, Jig didn't know. 
but the creature was apparently able to make decisions. Having realized it couldn't stop the fire, it turned again towards Jig. A few more minutes and it would be consumed, but that was plenty of time to dispose of one little goblin. <laughs> Jig scooted backward until he bumped into the bones that had fallen out of the far alcove. In his desperation, he grabbed the arm bone and flung it at the approaching creature. It ducked out of the way and the bone slid into the far alcove. The far panel reappeared. Jig stared. The panel was really back. He could see the flames reflected in the polished marble. Oh, that's how they seal the alcoves after they kill off the intruders. In here! Brianna just stared at him, looking confused. <laughs> he grabbed her arm and threw her into the open alcove behind him. Even as she collided with the skeleton, her weight triggered the magic. The marble panel began to shimmer into existence. The creature swung as Jig leaped. Passing through the shadowy panel was like swimming against a strong current or struggling against a whirlpool. His head and arms were already inside. He tried to push against the panel to help him through, but his hand sank uselessly into the half-formed marble. What will happen if the panel finishes appearing before I'm inside? Jig reached out blindly and caught Rihanna's arm. He pulled as far as he could. He made it through, landing on the now-ruined skeleton. 